will come. It's April 1st, 2020. It's a magical day. We are all together. So welcome to our weekly World Rhythm and Percussion classes. My name is River Gergerian. Thanks for coming here. I am going to check in with Brandy, make sure everything's cool. Yeah. Brandy's way over there, like a whole room away, <clears throat> but she's doing all the moderating and facilitating and chatting, so it's very important to have her. Give it up for Brandy. And uh, if there are any things that are happening or like you can't hear all of a sudden, you can't uh, hear or the drum or the voice or see something, just let us know in chat, Brandy, and she'll be happy to take those on. And I'm going to continue to drum. So far, we've got people from Canada, California, Kansas, Israel. Canada, California, Kansas, Israel. Minnesota, North Carolina, Minnesota, all over the state. Tennessee. And Tennessee. So usually I like to start with a little visualization, uh, perhaps even begin it with that first as a meditation, just to tune in. So if we can, just put your hands by your side, put your arms down, find your center, maybe move your shoulders a little bit. If you haven't loosened up your neck, just take a minute to loosen it up going every way and feel as if your shoulders and arms are dripping off your neck into your fingertips. Give some forearm twists and make it super, super, super loose as if it's turning from way, way, way back here. Let them dangle, same direction, opposite direction. That's it. And then find, this is a, a separate craft kind of hovering over your hips, which are a separate unit. How are they hovered over there? This allows the maximum flow into your fingertips. So now let's tune back in. Take a nice deep breath in, follow the breath, follow it out. Try to make your exhalations as long as your inhalations. And with each in-breath, just lifting your sternum up just a little bit, letting the shoulder blade slide off your back, melting into the earth, feeling your spinal column stretch, stretch, stretch. You can feel a ball of energy at your root, at the base of your spinal cord, from that a cable coming up through each vertebrae through the spinal cord, up, 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 lifting, lifting, lifting up, and gets to the base of your neck and branch out into two. Visualize a ball of energy at each shoulder. Imagine the inner mechanisms of your shoulder. Everything from the bones to the skin and in between. Then scanning down the arms, both at the same time, down into your elbows. Two more balls of energy there. Scanning down your forearms into your wrists, delicate mechanism there. Into the center of the palms of your hands, into both knuckles on each hand, six knuckles in the index fingers, six in the middle fingers, all lighting up. Ring fingers, pinkies, all of them shooting back up into your wrists, elbows, shoulders, base of the neck, between the shoulder blades, middle back, lower back, root, and down into your legs, and into your knees, your ankles, and the soles of the feet, down to the center of the planet, and then back up all the way to your fingertips in just a millisecond. So fast. All right, now let your arms swing one more time and feel them getting a little heavier. You know, gravity is going to take over. There's going to be more blood in your hands. If you let them be really, really still again, can you feel the pulse in them? Can you feel your heartbeat? Just tune in for a second. 
You might feel your heartbeat into your fingertips. All right, and we each have a different vibration, a different groove, different BPM. But yeah, we can easily adapt to many of them, All right? So the idea is once we start, if you could hold on to that, you know, within the next 90 minutes and through the drum, that's one of the most important things. Doesn't matter where your finger is a quarter inch here, a quarter inch there's this and that, that'll affect the sound. But if the, the body is disrupted, then the, the body will only serve you for a short amount of time. Um, so drop the hands onto your laps, specifically right behind the knees, and see if you can get those six sockets really, really loose by letting them move, but by not moving them themselves, but just moving your hips a little bit. So you feel that flow. And the flow I'm talking about is creating a wave. So if you're throwing a ball, right, from your shoulder, elbow, wrist, down to your fingertips, and your and then do with your non-lead hand, just try this and throw it, see how the energy throws that way, right? Or down this way, and then on the drum, it's gonna be that way. The whole wave is like the end of a dragon's tail or so, right? The tip is the last thing to come out. You start to pull out your arm and your wrist before my finger touches. Right, so but back here, let's go up on the um, on the on the the first sheet that I do that I have. It's called. Um, by the way, I'm not sure if Randy uh, put it out there, but at 4 p.m. today, the drum notation files were updated. So if you haven't refreshed them since then, please go in and refresh them because a lot more. Goodies went in there, hard at work on some music for us today. So go in there and please get the newest one. But the one that was there before is the one that's called Drums, Tones, and Rhythm Building Blocks, right? First, we're gonna, we're gonna do the tones in a second. If you go to the second page, you can see the one that's called the Rhythm Building Blocks. And these are basically the five things I think about on an internal rhythmic, rhythmic level before I translate it into sound and tones and musicianship and all that. And so we're gonna, we're gonna put the rhythms are, but how are we gonna treat our body for a second? As this, as this comes down, let's see, if we go at this tempo, I'm throwing my hands down and then I'm just pulling them back. I'm not using the energy in my hands to actually work my hands. I'm letting them flop down and then pulling them back. One and two and three, and, right? And pulling, even not my elbows, my shoulders, it's all the way from my back. Somehow, everything's super loose. I'm throwing the energy through all the way here, right? And then, it, and then if we alternate, we're gonna go right, left, right, left, right, left, right? And then we're gonna bounce. And as soon as you, so gravity does a lot of the work, and then you're gonna touch the hand on the bottom of the skin or the drum head, whatever it's gonna be, and you come up in a round motion or elliptical motion, one and two and three and four, and, right? So if we go twice as fast as that, it will look like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a teka teka. And still, you wanna keep your neck and your loose all, all, all really relaxed, right? Because once we tighten up, which is what we wanna do, the flow is not happening from back here. So we're gonna get to that right now. Once again, in case you got tight from here to here already, this is a place that's gonna lock up and this is a place that's going to lock up. Let them relax one more time. Lift the shoulder blades behind you. Now, um, let's just do it on a lap one more time, okay? Just so we feel that throw. And if you look on the first thing on the sheet, it's at the first level. You can think of it also like a, a building and that's the first floor, right? It's gonna be, be a single pulse. And you can imagine your spinal column just going up and down. Next thing, we're gonna separate the body, right? We're gonna go one, two, and then one. For now, since usually I'm not on the kit, right will be with my kick, and then hi-hi. That could start also with your left. Just from one side of the body to the other, okay? Whichever is your dominant hand. And then we're gonna add our counting, which will be in four. So it'll go one, and two, and three, and four. Right, so that's the, the three things. Your pulse, sides of your body, and the count. No matter what happens, there's a part of your wiring system that's hooked up to the count, and it's one, two, three, 
four. The next thing we might subdivide it into eighth notes, right? So internally we have to feel one and two and three and four and one and two. Now let's play that for a second. One and two and three and four and ah, it's a little confusing just jumping in there like that. Let's go back to quarter notes. One, two. And what's, what are your hand doing just an all in free time? Don't just push them there. We're not striking. We're not banging. We're bouncing and lifting two. Before we switch, let's feel it. Let's go one and two and three and four. One more time. One and two and now visualize it and let's do it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three. Great. One. Now we could double and go to the next one. That's 16th notes, but there's one in between that's triplets. Right? I think we should just jump to triplets. Three. One more bar, then we'll do it. One and two and three and switch. And one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. One more bar, then we'll go to 16th notes. Two, ready, and. Teka, 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 teka. And this is where you got to really lift the sternum. Teka, 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 teka. You're thinking about your pulse, your feet, one side, other side. Uh, uh. The count is one, two, three, four. One E and a two. Awesome. If you want to go into six tuplets from here, we can go. How do you do a sex tuplet? Each hand is just doing a triplet by itself, which is one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, two, one, two. Now do it with the other hand. One, two, three, two, 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 three, two, 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 dun, dun. Do both hands at the same time. One, two, three, two, two. Feel like your shoulders are also bouncing. Like your shoulders are a basketball and somebody's bouncing them. One, two. One more bar, and then we stagger them into six tuplets. Here we go. Take a take a take a take a take a take a one and two and three and one and two and three and or take a take a take a take a take a right. You might feel it. Take a 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 one two three two. Good. Now we could go to thirty second notes if we're feeling it. How do you do a thirty second note? Each one's doing a sixteenth. One two three. So we're going to go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E. Do the other hand. One E and a two E and a one E and a three E. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Let's do both hands together and it would be. Ready? Let's stagger them. Here we go. And take it, 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 take it
And then what you're going to do is throw it out. You take the heel of the hand, you pull it off, okay? So the heel of the hand comes off, but all the four pads of the finger, the first pad is the pad that's touching the palm of the hand that needs to be in there. And then we're just going to throw the hand in there, just like we did on the lap, keeping the shoulder, elbow, and wrist as loose as you can. So all 16 pads of those fingers touching the skin. Just letting it drop, 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 drop. Turn your neck a little bit and as deep of a sound as you can. Let's go twice as slow and let's examine what your hands are doing. So throwing it in and just getting that big wave-like motion happening. Good. Twice as fast. Bounce, 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 bounce. As if you're bouncing a... Uh, or dribbling a basketball. Awesome, and that's our doom sound. D-U-M, doom, 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 doom. On the frame drum, you can also do it with your thumb. Turning this way and using the whole flesh of the thumb down here, halfway between the center and the edge, and you get doom, 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 doom. Awesome. And depending on the size of the drum, that might be a better sound. You could also use all fingertips, kind of the end of the tail this way, and all four fingertips where the skin meets the nail, but not too much of the nail, right off center. And depending on your drum on this one, sometimes I let the heel of the hand touch the side and then let the fingers flop over, and I get a fuller sound sometimes, and my heel of the hand acts as a guide. Doom, doom. And then I could extend either one of the fingers by themselves, the index finger, and I'm just throwing it out that way, that way, right? That way, and then just pulling out. Middle finger. Finger. Right? I probably wouldn't do the pinky by itself. I'm gonna save my pinky for when I do rolls over here. But when I put them all, all four of them together, it's very important to have the pinky on there. I don't wanna waste any of your spiritual energy. And for the tech, it's the same basic thing. For now, we're going to use the three middle fingers. I call the fingers one, two, three, four, five. Thumb, index, middle, ring, pinky, right? Pinky, ring, pinky, ring. For now, you could try all three of them. And what you're going for is that really, really high ringing sound. But still with a feeling of like going beneath the skin a little bit. And all frame drums are going to sound different. This one over here. It rings in a little different way. It's got a different kind of skin on that one. Cool. And tech. So at first, it's good to get that whole wave-like motion for tech. And then you're going to refine each finger, right? For in this class, we're going to focus mostly on these two fingers, the ring in the middle, but we'll also use the index finger. So one way to do it is take the ring finger and the middle finger and stretch them out. And then they're part of this kind of split hand curve is when you're turning, as if you're turning a doorknob, but you're turning it from back here as much as you can, not just in your wrist. And then we're going to, so at first you get the main wave or tail-like motion and then adding some of this into it. Sometimes you could just practice that by itself. Tech. I'm just spinning, 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 pivoting right between these two, or even feeling it around the index finger. So then when you go twice as fast, you have a lot of power just within your forearm, right? So, get this one first, work this one by itself, then you do both, so you get this, and then you add the big swing with that. Does that make sense? So at the last minute, it allows me to get this kind of like whip-like motion just at the end, instead of just going straight up and down. And once again, we're never striking or banging or hitting. We're bouncing and lifting and singing, right? Good, you can now start to extend just the ring finger. And feel that coming all the way from here, right? If you can imagine that there. Let's do the middle finger. Now let's put the middle finger in the center of the drum, but just the middle finger. Practice throwing that finger out, the middle finger, lifting up the wrist. 
That's it. And then twice as fast. Awesome. And then pull the hand out. And then you get the middle finger right there. Good. And then take the middle finger and, sorry, the index finger, do the same thing. And let's go twice as slow. That's it. Just throwing out the index finger. That's it. All pads in there and then pulling it out to the very edge. Awesome. We'll get more into that as we start to play tones. Doom, tech, doom in every, every variety of it. Some people are gonna play your tech with the middle three fingers. Some of you will play with just with the ring. On the doom back, you can play with the ring and the middle finger. If you play it doom back style, uh, or djembe style, the tech can be just all of the fingers, just depending where you where you want to place it. Now th that same color, this is a yellow color, yellow color, red might be my do. It's ka, ka. As we have this on our non-dominant hand, you take this the the flesh of the thumb on this hand, put it on top. Twelve o'clock. Make sure it's not going to fall. You're just balancing it, balancing, balancing, balancing. Never gripping, never holding. Let the fingers flop over, lifting up this way. First, you're going to practice this, bouncing and lifting. Just opening that up and feeling that bounce, throw over. Awesome. And then now you're going to come to the side more. And you can also use your thumb to, be, to put in the notch here to keep, to keep the drum from coming back this way when you play some dooms. Right? So I'm just opening this up, and this is one of the hardest things to get, and it's like the least tone to develop. It takes a little longer. You lift this up here, keeping the finger straight. That's crucial. And then just coming this way. So then when you do it twice as fast, you really feel like you're bouncing. And you also might snap by taking the ring over the thumb and coming that way. All right, tech and cut. Together we get a tech guy. We want to try to make the them sound as uniform as they can. But so it, it sounds like you're just if you're just playing with one hand and you start to separate them. As long as your drum's in tune, you can play back and forth and try to get a similarity of sound on that one. Pa is my third sound. Pa, 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 as if you're grabbing something. Pa, pa, right. And just, just the, like little suction cups just on your finger pads and then throwing it down. And as you throw that, loosening up the neck and the shoulder and the elbow, of course. Pa, 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 pa. Right in the center, just grabbing it, not pushing down, not tightening up the, not tightening up the wrists, right? Because you, you hurt yourself after a while. And it's very different than pa. Doom, pa. Sorry, very different than doom. Doom, pa. Let's go from one to the other, from opening and bouncing to the dry tone, doom, ah, doom, ah. You might use the thumb, ah, doom, ah, doom, ah, doom, ah, doom. Two dooms, doom, doom, pa. Or, or this way. Let's do doom, 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 tech, doom, doom, tech. Awesome. Let's do one doom, doom, tech, then one doom, doom, pa. So it's going to go doom, doom, tech. Doom doom pa, doom doom tech, doom doom pa, doom doom tech, doom doom pa, doom doom tech. One more time. Good. Let's do go back and forth and go tech ga tech ga tech ga tech go. One two three four. One two three four. Awesome. And as you're doing that, going from one side to the other, notice I'm still keeping my feet swaying from one side to other side. Go to sixteenth notes and go. Teka 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 teka. Feeling the pulse. One two two three two three. Put an accent on the one. One. Let's put the on the three like this. One two three four. 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 One. Awesome. And go back to the one. And one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Awesome. Let's play some dooms and let's go. 
instead of just stopping to play, just see if you can relax into your dooms, right? Roll everything out. Right? See if you could relax yourself while you're still playing the drum. Of course, I could have you put your hand down and just have it relaxed too, which is necessary sometimes. Unless you got a five hour concert. Now we're gonna put some together. So let's get our feet going. Let's keep, let's stay on the same train for a second. All right, if there's any questions, you can chat with Brandy. Makeshift frame drums. We're having questions about, oh, yeah. How many? Yeah, uh, so if they have. If you got a doom back, if you have a doom back, which I could play. Let me just play the one that's between my legs. It's a little bit easier to sit on my lap. This is a large one. So I would play it this way here. Okay. It just sits in here this way. Once again, parallel this way. Everything is even this way. This is our natural position, not this, but not this, not squared off, but everything coming towards the center, towards this way. Doom, tech, pa. Doom, doom, tech, doom, doom, pa. The ka on this one, you can play it this way. At first, ka, if you're gonna play it sideways on your lap, right? The first thing you wanna do is just practice the hand just falling over, just like that. Just throwing it down. So if you could throw it down from here, everybody has a different idea of how the ka should be. Just find one that works good with your body and gets the sound you wanna get. Then the next thing is to lift. So at first it just released and surrender, and then you just kind of lift. That's, and we're not all the way there, there yet, so I'm thinking up, up, right? Up, or I might go this way. And then you start to refine it. And then I might do the forearm turn and I might just pull out my ring or my middle or the ring and the middle. Or I might use my index finger and come down this way. I'm, only this is touching and I'm, now I'm turning the forearm inward, not outward, inward that way. And then sometimes I'll bounce if I want a single touch that way. Or if I'm going back and forth, I'll swing it this way, right? Using the index and then the middle and the ring. So, those are the options there. Pause the same. Doom, tech, up, pa. So, doom. Is there another question? Let's do that hand. Yeah, I got one over here, actually. I think so, because it'll be, it'll come through. But I can show you on this one. Um, this is one, there's like so many drums in my studio. Um, something like this. So you can hold it this way. At first, the easiest thing would be to hold it this way as if you're shaking somebody's hand, the drum is going to fall in that way. Thumb is going towards my sternum as opposed to Kanjira, it would go away. That's a different thing. This way, right? And then I put my thumb over here and then I can get my doom mostly just with my ring finger because sometimes on a drum this small, all four fingers might cancel the drum out as opposed to just the ring finger muting it. I mean, letting it bounce. The tech is just here. You could use it with a ring finger or the middle finger. The ka is one of the hardest things to get, and you have to turn the forearm to really get that, that happening that way. right? Don't just digitize and do that. Try to turn, get that happening first, right? The forearm twist this way, and then letting the drum fall right there. You can do it. You can do it multiple ways. You can do it this way. If your drum has a hole in it, it's gonna look a little bit different. You mute. I do have my smaller drum. Would you mind getting me that one? Here it comes. And then I'm gonna put it this way, right? Okay. And then cause this way. And here on this one, I could use my whole hand. Doom, doom, doom. T. 
teka 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 teka. And the thumb is based over here at the edge. And the most important thing about your thumb is not to digitize and do that so much. You won't get too fast. You need to get the, the forearm technique, right? Of turning the forearm from back there. How do you do that with your thumb is there and you kind of pivot over your thumb this way. I could use all four hands, right? Sorry, fingers, all four fingers. My students aren't here to catch all my verbal delicacies. And then you could throw out just, you just throw out the ring finger just, right? Just at the very end and lift the other fingers around. You don't stiffen, you don't do that. Just throwing, I'm just using the ring finger right now. Check, it's here, and then pa, you could grab it this way, or you could play pa here. So many ways to do it. If I'm playing a simple rhythm, doom, pa, doom, doom, pa. I could let the drum just kind of fall into my hands, or with my thumb, doom, pa, doom, doom, pa, right? Doom, pa, doom, doom, pa. If I start to do tekas, then I have to go on my thumb, teka, 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 doom, Pa, teka, teka, pa. Doom, pa, teka, teka, pa. Doom, doom, pa, teka, teka, pa. Doom, teka, teka, doom, teka, doom, pa. So let's start to put all of our tones together. Hope that's getting clear. Let's put all these, the idea of rhythms, the idea of tones together. All of it starting with our rhythm, our body, our mechanics, our internal mechanism. We still got time. If you get a sip of water, get it, because we're going to get on a train on staying it for a little bit. All right. Randy, do you mind opening the door a little bit? Because it's done. Just, just us in this 24,000 square foot building. We're so happy to be here today. Thanks for joining us. So we're gonna put all the tones together now. All right, and a drum. And if you are gonna play, if you do have a djembe and you want to do it on that, by the way, once again, on the djembe, the heel of the hand will go inside for dun and goon. Dun, goon, dun, goon. Right? Pata, pata. Right? Dun, goon, dogo. And then pata would be slaps. I don't want to do too loud on here. But you would play the more slaps. Dun, goon, then dogo. You want to lower that? Oh, yeah. That can stay off there. I don't need that there. Doom. Doom, doom, teka, pa. Doom. You might do that way more. You play that way more if it's uh, with a djembe. And then you have the luxury of playing the pa with either hand. So we're going to start our pulse, our first floor, second floor are the feet. This is the first time I'm using the kick drum out there for all my students who are usually here. Let us know if you like it or not. It allows you to hear the separation between both sides of the body. You like it, Deborah? And then the count is going to go one, two, three, four. So that's the third level. And then the fourth level is going to be the subdivisions. Let's pick eighth notes. One and two and three and. Let's do sixteenths. One E and the two E. And then all the four things are happening at the same time. And the fifth thing is going to be the melodic phrases that we create with all the tones that we just went through. So I'm still feeling this. On top of that, with feeling that, let's play this rhythm. We're going to go doom, doom, Teka teka doom ka pa, doom doom teka teka doom ka pa, doom doom teka teka doom ka pa, doom doom teka teka. A little variation, doom doom teka teka doom doom pa, doom doom teka teka doom doom pa, doom doom teka teka doom doom pa, doom doom teka teka. A little variation on that, doom doom teka teka doom teka pa. Doom doom teka teka doom teka pa. Doom doom teka teka doom teka pa. Doom doom teka teka doom. Let's do 
this part of that. Doom teka pa. Doom teka pa. Sounds easy, but your lead hand's doing a lot. It's doing this. It's going doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. If I'm holding it, it might go like this. Doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. And then you add the non-lead hand after the tech. Doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. Doom tech pa. That's it. Let's try this for a second. Doom tech pa. Teka teka pa. Doom tech pa. Teka teka pa. Doom teka pa. Teka teka pa. Doom teka pa. Great. Now let's try this. Teka teka pa. Teka teka doom. Teka teka pa. Teka teka doom. Teka teka pa. Teka teka doom. Good. Double the pause in the doom. Teka teka pa pa. Teka teka doom doom. Teka teka pa pa. Teka teka doom doom. Teka teka pa pa. Teka teka doom. Good. And let's do all these sixteens. Teka 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 pa. Teka 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 pa. Two more. Teka 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 pa. Teka 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 pa. Go back to your count and your breath. Don't stop those four levels. Right. The pulse. The feet. And the count, right? So going, double dividing. Let's do some short, short longs. For each phrase, we're going to do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Short, short long, short, short long. Da, 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 da. On the long, make it a doom. And the count is still one e n, two e n, three e n, four e n, one e n. Great, make it a pop. Don't get lazy. Go in the middle. Take a pop. Take a pa, take a pa, take a pa, take a pa. Awesome. One doom and then one pa. Take a doom, take a pa. One e n, two e n, three e n, four e n. Take a doom, take a pa. I know it's a lot of work. Take a doom, take a pa. Good. Let's stop that. Let's slow the train down a little bit. We're gonna go long, short, short, long, short, short, long. Or the numbers we're gonna be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Try it on text. Take, take a tech, take a tech, take a tech, take a tech, tech. Do that with your non-lead hand. Ka te ka ka te ka ka te ka ka te ka ka te ka. Let's alternate. Ta ka te te ka 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 te ka. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Doesn't matter which is your dominant hand. You're just gonna alternate. One, two, three, four. One. Let's put a dooms every other one like this. Doom ka te ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka doom. Woo! That's a hard one. Let's go like this. Doom tek 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 doom tek tek tek. Now let's do this. Doom tek ka tek tek 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 doom tek ka tek tek. Add the next ka. Doom tek ka tek ka tek 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 doom tek. Swing the first ka. Doom tek ka tek ka tek doom tek ka tek ka tek. Action the last tek. Uh. Doom tek ka tek ka tek doom tek ka tek ka tek doom tek ka tek ka tek doom tek ka tek ka tek. You could end the tek with a pa. Change it. Doom tek ka tek ka pa. 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 Doom. Two more. Good. Let's go back to this. We're gonna go tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a pa. Two more. Tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a tek a tek a ready and stop. All right. So put your arm, the drum down for a second. Put your arm down. Let this relax. Did did your neck creep up and did your shoulders creep up? Did somebody needs to tap me on the back? So yo, get your sternum up. I want you to open up this file. It's the one called "Try This Basic Building Patterns." But I think it's called. It starts off with "Try This." I don't know, for my Asheville folks, I don't have my computer here today. I was going to, I was going to, in uh, your honor, but 
I'm going to try this format today. So this one is basically a pattern, and this is, if you haven't played much of this or thought about these syllables, it's a great way to, to get everything flowing, and you could just, it's easy to remember. There's a, you know, there's really one pattern. So if you're a right-handed person, the pattern is, has eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're a left-handed person, it's left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right? So, and the pattern is, uh, doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka, te, ka, right? So, the easiest way to start this, if you're not thinking about what's in front of you, just go tech, cut. Let's think of eight notes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cool? Easy peasy. On the one, put a doom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. When I was saying one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, by the way, it should have been tech, cut, tech, cut, tech, cut, tech, cut, right? And then on the one, we're putting a doom. Doom, ka, tech, ka, tech, ka. Don't forget the count. It's one and two and. Three. Now on the five, I'm going to put a pa. Ka, ka. So my count is still one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Great. That's the whole piece. And then sometimes we're going to double each note. So if I say double each note, that'll be a little variation. The count is still what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then sometimes I'm going to double that and then go. Now the pulse, the big pulse is still the same, but the eight is half as fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. So let's do this. And we're going to try to end. Let's try. Usually for in the level one, one class, I don't go all the way to the very end, but we will now. Just because, you know, you could always, for this whole thing stays live for as long as, I guess, there's a YouTube. And um, you have access to this for whenever. And you could go back and actually play it at three quarter speed and half speed, which is a wonderful thing. It's on the lower right hand side of your screen a little settings thing a lot of people don't know it's there third grader showed me that it's really works really well so we're just going to play through this first section then you double it everything stays the same next section you double the eighth notes and then you double that da 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 da, da which is what i did and then we're going to go we're going to end here which is still just that 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 okay pulse sides of the body we give our count one Two, three, and let's just say it once first. So, doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka. Now, let's play, uh. Doom, ka, te, ka. Second line, pa, ka, te. Third line, doom, ka, te. Fourth line, here comes the next section, fifth line. Doom, doom, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka, pa, pa, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka. Doom, doom, ka, ka, te, te, ka. Good. Third section. Here we go. Doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka, te, ka. Doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka, te, ka. Doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka, te, ka. Good. Fourth section. Here we go. And doom, doom, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka, pa, pa, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka. Doom, doom, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka, pa, pa, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka. Doom, doom, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka, pa, pa, ka, ka, te, te, ka, ka. One, two, last section. And doom, ka, te, ka, pa, ka, te, ka. 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 Last line. One, two, back to the top. And doom, ka. Use this to reset. Don't stop. Stay on that train, on the rhythm train, and then your tones are beautiful and lifting your hands out and singing. Ka, ka, ka. Second section and doom, doom, ka, ka, tek, tek, ka, ka, pa, pa, ka, ka, tek, tek, ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, ka, tek, tek, ka, ka, pa, pa. Good. Alternate. Doom, ka, tek, ka, pa, ka, tek, ka. One and two and three and four. Doom, ka, tek. Here we 
go, and then doubling that. Here we go. And doom doom kaka tek tek kaka papa kaka tek tek kaka doom doom kaka tek tek kaka papa kaka tek tek kaka doom doom kaka tek tek kaka papa kaka tek tek kaka. Last section. Here we go. And doom kaka tek kaka papa tek kaka 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 doom kaka Right there. I won't go through it again because that's just a lot. That's a real workout. But so each time you go to the top, you stretch out. And each time you do that fourth and fifth, fifth section, well, it feels like a stretch, but just plow through. And then each time you go through it, it'll just get a little bit more adept and a little bit more depth. And of course, you could take as slow as you need to take it. So um, some of us who come to this class um, or might know this. I actually haven't done this in a little while. So if, if you think the way to get your start speed is by going to the end and saying, how fast can I go? And so on. It might just be there. That might be your, so where is it? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. So there's my pulse. And at the top would be and so on and so on and so forth, right? But it gives you time to grow. All right. We can let go of that one. Any questions about that one? Hello, TV land. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to use the word TV, but I like it. It makes me think of my childhood. Most of my childhood was really good. Let's see. That, 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 I mean, that's, somebody, some newbie said that part was really fast, and I know, I can imagine. I'm sorry. But for just once in a while, it's going to get just a little bit, speedy like that but i think the main thing on that one is just to get the flow of the hands going right left right left right left right left or left right left right left right left right. and then sometimes double left left right right left left right right these are kind of things i would like you to do just as you're walking down the street a way to practice so i'm just if i just most people walk i have this my, on my metronome it tells me how fast i walk but it might even be over here right if you're just strolling and then you could just do that on the sides of your thigh going that way Maybe you might double that up. And then sometimes try it slow double, right, right, left, left, and see how it, it fits in with your feet as you're going. When you're walking, your feet are going to mess up less and your hands are going to mess up. Like this. Take a take a da. Take a take a da. Take a take a take a take a take a da. Or take a take a Little nuggets of 16th notes if you don't want to play all of them. Anyways, lots of things to do in between. What I thought we would do next, if you need to. Just stand up for a second and stretch. Please do that. It's really, really important. Oh, from one side to the other. Roll your shoulders back a little bit. So let's do let's do our melodic round. I put that up there. It's a newer version. It's called melodic round single player. All right. Keep my notes all together. Melodic round single player. Please open that up. You could obviously make one screen on one side, Rima, and then one screen on the other side. You could have two different devices if you want to see the music and the notation. So we'll, for this, in the next level of class, we're going to go through this in a different way. None of you have seen it out there. It's just a modification of the one. This is originally written for two different parts, but I thought it's a little harder to do on the internet. So let's, let's, let's make a different version. Um, what I like to, to start with is to do break number one, the one that's in red. Break number one, break number one, so you could actually see the notation, right? And each each cell, this is, this is two bars of 4-4 four, four or one eight beat rhythmic cycle, okay? And each cell is, a pul is one of the pulses, and the dashes, you know, are the spaces. So on the second beat, it's pat, 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 pat
So there's always something happening. Let's do the first four beats on that. It goes teka teka pa, teka teka pa, and teka teka pa, teka teka pa. The taller notes are a little louder. Teka teka pa. Cool. Now this, our usual break one is teka teka pa, and teka teka pa. Then teka 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 teka. You just do that three times. And we did that in when when we were rolling in with our rhythms at first. Now on the third beat, we're gonna try to add a sextuplet. This is a new one, so let's try. It. So the, your lead hand for the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth beats, or the last four or four bar, would be tech, 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 pa. Tech, 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 pa. Tech, 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 good. Now we fill it in with the other hand. Teka 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 pa. Teka 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 pa. Yep. Teka 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 teka. One more time. Now let's play the whole break one. Let's sing it. All right. Let's sing break one. Here comes the one. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka 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 pa. And teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka 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 pa. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka 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 pa. One more time. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka 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 teka. Awesome. That's the breaks. Those are like little. The breaks are just kind of like to bridge you from one to another. A little bit of a palate cleanser. So if you're not, if that six isn't coming out, well, just play six notes. Teka 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 pa. Okay, so let's do the main rhythm. The main rhythm is fairly easy, except those ka's are tricky because they're just in a weird place. So we really have to be feeling our internal 16th note. I'm going to give a count, and then we're just going to sing it, okay? One, two, ready, the main rhythm, one. Doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa. Doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, Ka ka doom pa. So let's look at the ka, uh, the ka ka doom pa. So let's play that one nugget, the sixth cell. It's tech and ka. So you got to think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just looping that one cell. Now let's leave one in between blank. So tech, ka. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Right? Now let's look at the next beat. It goes. On it goes one two three four 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 one two. If we slow that down, one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four one. Both of those cells together, one two three four. Or you can think of an eight. One two three four five six seven eight. Let's think two little bars of four. One two three four one two two beats of four. Two three four. We're gonna go tech ka ka doom done ka ka doom tech. Ka, ka, doom, tech. I'm just looping those two beats. Beat six and seven. Ka, ka, doom, tech. Ka, ka, doom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tech. Good. That's it. I'm thinking. Good. Let's do, let's do that whole eight beats, that whole line. We're going to count to four. One, two, here we go. And doom, tech. Tech, doom, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, and doom, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa, one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, ka, ka, doom, pa, one more, doom, tech, doom, tech, doom, tech. Good. Let's just stay on this beat for a second. Let's do the, the next the next rhythm. I'll play the whole eight bars, right? The whole eight beats, the melody, but it's a little bit modified on the second bar. It's gonna go doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa teka teka pa doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa teka teka pa. Let's break that one down. So if we look at the last two beats, we've done that a bunch. Of this eight beat cycle, this is number two, Belody. It goes teka teka pa, teka teka pa. That's the last two beats. You got that one, right? The first and the fifth beat are the same. You have a doom, doom, doom. If you loop it, it just do that all day long. 
Second beat has the tekapa, the second beat on the first bar and the second bar. Tekapa, tekapa. And the idea is not to make that first tek too loud. You're gonna, you're gonna, you're moving up to the pa. So it's tekapa, 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 tekapa. That's it. Let's go doom, doom, tekapa. Loop that. Doom, tekapa. Doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, doom. That's great. Doom, doom, tekapa. That's the first and second beat of this rhythm. Let's do the third and fourth beat of the rhythm. It goes like this. Doom, tekapa, teka. Doom, tekapa. You can leave out the first teka first and go doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. And doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. And the last teka, doom, tekapa. Teka, doom, tekapa. And those of you who are at home doing this, you could add those extra ones whenever you want or embellish things. Tekapa, teka, doom, tekapa. Teka, doom, tekapa. Teka, doom, tekapa. Teka, doom, tekapa. Teka. Good. So both of them together go like this. Doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. Without the teka, doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. A little slower. Doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. And doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. And doom, doom, tekapa. Doom, tekapa. One more. Doom, doom, tekapa. Doom. If you and then we'll throw a tech in between there. But for now, let's do the, the beats five, six, seven, eight. And it starts off exactly the same and it ends exactly the same. But instead of going doom teka on the third beat, you have teka teka. So this is the fifth, sixth, and seventh, and eighth beat of the second line. It goes doom, doom, teka pa, teka teka pa. And 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 doom, doom, teka pa. Teka teka pa and doom doom teka pa teka teka pa and doom doom teka pa teka teka pa and doom doom. If you have a tambourine, keep going. Doom doom teka pa teka teka pa and doom doom teka pa teka teka. Classic might be doom doom teka pa teka teka pa and doom doom teka pa teka teka. Or class, or with a cabaret style. Doom, doom, teka pa, teka, teka pa. Or I could play the tech, teka pa, teka, teka pa. Depending what's happening musically, teka pa, teka, teka pa. Let's go back to the first four beats, which is doom, doom, teka pa, doom, teka pa, right? Doom, doom. Good, let's put all of it together. Doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa teka teka pa and doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa teka teka pa again doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa teka teka pa doom doom teka pa teka teka pa teka am I fall teka pa Teka teka pa one more doom doom teka pa teka. All right, hold on. Here it goes doom doom teka pa doom teka pa teka doom doom teka pa doom doom teka. And then we're gonna go to the break number one. Remember break number one, the one in red, going teka teka pa. Uh huh. Teka teka pa. Then. Teka 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 pa. One more. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Teka. And then we go back to the main rhythm. Here we go. Doom tek. Doom doom tek. Doom tek. Kaka doom pa. And One more time, and then we're gonna go to belly, second on the line. 
Here we go, Bella D. Doom, doom, tech up, tech, doom, tech up, ah, tech a doom, doom, tech up, ah, tech a tech up, ah, doom, doom, tech up, ah, doom, tech up, ah, tech a doom, doom, tech up, ah, tech a tech up, ah, and doom, doom, tech up, ah, doom, tech up, ah, tech a doom, doom, tech up, ah, tech a tech up, ah, doom, tech up, ah, doom, tech up, ah, tech a doom, doom. One more time. Then we're gonna do the break number one again. The first one in red. Here we go. And teka teka pa. Uh. Teka teka pa. Yeah. Teka 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 pa. Again. Teka teka pa. Teka teka pa. Then teka 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 pa. I just before you put your arm down, just get into a relaxed place first instead of going from our slouch mode, which we just love, and just putting the drum down. Lift first and see. Oh, this should feel this way. Down here, the arm swing from your side. See what's happening there, and then stretch it out. You want to try to stretch out these muscles over here as, a, as if you're up against the wall, lifting them up this way. One side, other side, turning your forearms too, also. How are you feeling? It's a lot of drumming. We've been huffing and puffing a lot also. You've been thinking about your body the whole time, right? Um, try to always be able to check into our bodies. I think that's a good thing. I'm sure there's questions going on, but are you answering them? Yeah. OK. Before we go to something else, <clears throat> we'll try to play through. Maybe we'll try to do, I was thinking that today, we could add one more of these rhythms and play like the first section of four. Never really done that in this class. So we'll do the third section next. We did the first one, we did the second one, the melody, we did the break one, and then we'll do the next one. But I'm gonna let you all take a little two minute tinkle break or whatever it is you need to do. You need to get some tofu or some spam, whatever it is that creates joy in your heart and makes you drum play better. Brandy loves spam. <laughs> Veggie spam, of course, but still spam. And she loves the spam song. Spam, spam, spam. Spam. She so, didn't know I was born in Canada. There was a queen on our money. Just gonna take a little water break. I guess there's no complaint about the difference between hearing the drum and the voice have a little different setup today. Hopefully you could hear it all. You live in Canada, when you come here, I'll tune your drum for you. down so much with the change of the weather and the change of the seasons trying to get them always trying to get them all to go to the same level then once you got them all to the same pitch approximately then you could go up and down a little bit eighth turn might be a lot eighth turn might be a half a tone depending on the size of the drum okay then you just want to get it so it could sing Last as long as you can into the next tone. Doom. That's why the pa is so powerful because it's not just a tone. The sensation of sound is specifically of the doom. So let's look at the Wahda Shiftatelli one, which is it's two rhythms put together. 
And uh, it's very syncopated on this one. It's easier almost if you just sing it. And we're going to stop on the fourth beat at pa. Okay? The third, this is the third line of the melodic round. Right? We're just going to do the first four beat and just end on pa. And the rhythm is long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Long, short, long, short, long, short. Very universal rhythm. With one hand, it's tan, 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 long. With two hands, for now, we're going to go like this. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. Dun, 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 dun. Now, if you don't feel the pulse, it's a little easier. You're just going to go dun, da, dun, da, dun, 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 dun. But if you could feel the 60th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. Doom, ka tek, ka tek. Let's try it slow once. It's going to be this. Ready? And doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. And doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka Watch out for that second beat. It's empty. One and uh, uh, one and two and three and four. See, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. And one, two, three, four. And one, two. With the last teka, it's doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. Teka doom, ka tek, ka tek. Feeling Teka 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 One, two, three, four. Now let's play the second half of that rhythm, which is Doom Ka Tek Ka Tek Doom Doom. First two beats exactly the same. Ka Tek. Here we go. Beats five through eight. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. And a one E and a two E and a three E and a Doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom. Awesome. If you can't get it, just do it with one hand. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Then sing it. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom, doom, fuck. Visualize your hands. Ka tek, ka tek. And then just sing it and play it. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom, doom, pa. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom, doom, pa. Two more. Doom, ka tek, ka tek. One more. Now we're going to play the whole rhythm back from the beginning. Let's sing it one time through. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. Teka, doom, ka tek, ka tek. Let's sing it one more time. Doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa. Teka, doom, ka tek, ka tek. Doom, do, pa, and doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa, tek, doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom, doom, pa, doom, ka tek, ka tek, ka tek, ka pa, tek, doom, ka tek, ka tek, doom, good, feeling the sixteens, tek, tek, ka 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 pa, tek a doom, ka tek, ka tek. One more time, see if you can think of the count. One, two, three, four, one, two. Let's do the break. Here we go. And tek a tek a pa, tek a tek a pa, then tek a 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 pa. One more time. Tek a tek a pa, tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a tek a tek a back to the top and doom two times tek doom doom tek doom tek ka ka doom pa one more doom tek we're gonna go through the piece these four lines doom tek ka ka second line and doom doom tek a pa doom tek a pa tek a doom doom tek a pa tek a tek a pa and doom doom tek a pa doom tek a pa Teka doom doom teka pa. Two more times on this line. Doom doom teka pa. Doom teka pa. Teka doom doom teka pa. Teka teka pa. One more. Doom doom teka pa. Doom teka pa. Teka doom doom. 
good. The Wahda, number three, and Doom Katek, 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 Kapa, Teka Doom Katek, Katek, Doom, Doom, Pa. Doom Katek, 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 Kapa, Teka Doom Katek, Katek, two more times. Doom Katek, 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 Kapa, Teka Doom Katek, Katek, Doom, Doom, one more. Doom Katek, 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 Kapa, Teka Doom Katek, Katek, break number one. Teka Teka Pa, Teka Teka Pa. Take a 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 pa. One more. Take a take a pa. Take a take a pa. Then take a take a take a take a. Ready and stop. All right. Relax that hand that's holding the drum up for a second. Very good, everybody. I can feel you playing. It's happening. So let's do that one more time. We're going to do it in faster speed. Because even in a level one class, we have a variety of speeds. There's some people that are just beginners, and some people have been playing for 10 years, and they just want a different approach and a different way to even just, how do I think about my wrist? Or how do I think about my pinky or my ring finger? How am I thinking about my back? Am I singing about my uh, rhythms different than another way? It's just lots of different insights into drumming and playing music, you know? And it's just little things here and there can just change your perspective and how you of the lens of how you look into the center of that certain thing, whether it's a certain rhythm or especially if it's something outside of yourself. If it's a rhythm you heard on the radio and it comes from Colombia and you're like, I want to I want to feel that rhythm and learn it. And then you just put it in your head head buds and you just bop along with it all day long. You ever get so addicted to a song, it's infectious and the groove's infectious and you just like play it all day long till you could just sing it. Yeah. So we'll, we'll do this one one more time, faster, just for fun. <clears throat> Trish, this one's for you to so take it faster. Uh. All right. So if we, uh, let's see how fast, if we think about how fast we want to play break number one, da 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 even if it's a little bit of a blur that sex up, don't worry. It's going to be beautiful. From the top, count to four. One, two, ready, and doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, cock, doom. One more, doom, tech, doom, doom, tech, doom, tech, got a line two. Doom, doom, tech, a pop, doom, tech, a pop, tech, a doom, doom, tech, a pop, tech, a tech, a pop, doom, tech, a pop, doom. Take a bat, take a doom, doom, take a bat, take two more. Doom, doom, take a bat, doom, take a bat, take a doom, doom, take a bat, take a, take a bat. One more. Take a bat, doom, take a bat, take third section. Here we go. And doom, katek, 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 kapa, take a doom, katek, katek, doom, doom, pa. Doom, katek, 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 kapa, take a doom, katek, katek, doom, doom, pa. Doom katek 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 kapa tek a doom katek katek one more time. Doom katek 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 kapa tek a doom. Break number one. Tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a pa. Tek a 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 pa. One more. Tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a pa. Tek a tek a tek a tek a. Ready and stop. Awesome. Great, great job. Let's move on to another piece. So you got that in when you know what to do, you know what to practice. Is that cool, Brandy? Is everybody cool with it out there? Awesome. We'll try to do this in the, as a warm up in the next one. Let me get rid of this one. We are going to do, let me make sure I'm on my schedule. So. Okay, so let's put out our let's pull out our Irish rhythm variations. So in general, you know, there's I've been doing this basically since I've been in this studio here for about ten years, having classes. Used to be on Thursdays, then about three or four years ago, something like that, it got changed to Wednesdays. And um, the way I kind of bring in, I'll try to bring new pieces in like a couple every week and I rotate them. So I'll bring them in one piece. It'll be totally, one day it'll be totally fresh and it'll be just putting your, 
you know, foot in the water and getting in and maybe waiting around a little bit. The second time you get through, you're taking your body more, you know, and uh, you're able to, to swim a little bit more. And then the third time, it's a, an idea of like, hopefully maybe some people have practiced it in between and they jump in on the third one and then really ready to take it and really internalize it more and then making more musical and lyrical and melodic sense out of it, right? Because that's the point we want to get, get the nuts and bolts of the rhythm getting the flow of our body with our hands and then transcending all those little grids of formulas into making some kind of thing called music, right? So let's open this one up. It's called uh, Irish Rhythm Variations. This is the third time we're doing this class, but each time we learned a different section. Last time we put one and two together and today we're gonna learn the breaks, okay? So if it's your first time on this, we're gonna whiz through the first parts a little bit, but you'll have a recording of it and you can go back will be sweet and lovely, but it's very easy rhythm to, you've heard these rhythms a lot in your life. Hold on one second, let me find the right one. All right, here we go. And by the way, this one's uh, different. It's a little bit different. I made this more for its version two. I made it for one player. So if you had last week's version, don't use that, please. Use the one that came in at four o'clock today. Okay? Dun -dun -dun. But this piece is a, has a very different swing. It's in, it's in units of three, four units of three, which come up to a 12, but it's, we're still thinking four. One, two, three, four. And then now we'll go into our triplet cycles. So internally, I'm not thinking teka, 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 teka anymore. So I'm not thinking duples, one e and a two e, and I'm thinking triplets, which is one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. If you play with one hand, it's the easiest. You just go for each pulse, you subdivide into three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then you want to try to alternate the hands. If you want a lot of fun, sometimes you could do two in each hand, just like you do doubles, and it would go like this. And I'm still thinking one, two, three, 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 or one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, or the twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Lots of ways to think about it. But the big pulse is good. <clears throat> because eventually somebody's gonna dance to this piece, right? I just I'm just gonna play the let's do the first section. Uh let's just do the first section. You know what? I'm just gonna play the first section once just so you hear it, but I really want to jump to the break because we've done the first two sections a couple of times. Let me just play it at speed first and then we'll just take it down, all right? So, dun, 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 dun. let me take it out here. It's gonna go one, this is, this is section A, one through eight, and I'll just play it. One, two, ready, and. Doom, doom, ka, te, ka, doom, ka, te, ka, te, ka, doom, doom, ka, te, ka, doom, 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 ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, te, ka, doom, ka, te, ka, te, ka, te, ka, te, ka, te, ka, doom, 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 ka. Doom doom ka te ka te ka te ka te ka ka doom doom ka te ka te ka te ka pa ka doom doom ka te ka te ka te ka te ka ka te ka te ka doom 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 ka. So I know that seems fast, but that te ka te ka just da 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 da. Your lead hand just does this tech 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 tech, and we're gonna use do this a lot. Let's try a triplet with one hand tech 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 tech, and then on the one. One and two, three, one and two, three, one and two, three. Tick a tick, tick, tick a tick, tick, tick a tick, tick. Does that make sense? Tick a tick, tick, tick a tick, tick, tick a tick, tick. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Tick a tick, tick, tick a tick, right? And sometimes it's going to go doom ka tick, ka doom ka tick, ka doom ka tick. All right, so then we're going to change that last take to come. Looking the way I did it, I want to do. I want to honor the way I did it. I want to honor my old self. So it's going to go take a 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 take a. So in other words, the three is going to be one, two, three. If you're lefty, it's left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right, left, left, right. If you're righty, it's right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. Right, left, 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 or left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. This is a common rhythm that's played all over the world, and this kind of music, of course, is. So, and 
rhythms five through eight are going to be a lot to go through right now. So really, I wanted to focus on just two things on this one. That that first rhythm is going the of the A section is going to go doom doom ka. If you could just play that, then the a lot of it will come. All four beats going to go like this: doom doom ka, doom ka, doom doom ka. That's it. Just those are the four main pulses: one, two, three, four. Doom doom ka, doom ka, doom doom ka. Good. Let's do the last two beats. Doom ka te ka te ka, doom ka te ka te ka. One two three four five six. Just alternate the hands. One two three four five six. That's it. Doom ka te ka te ka, doom ka te. Now let's add the first and second beat to that. If we sing it, it's gonna go doom doom ka te ka, doom ka te ka te ka, doom. Doom kateka, doom kateka, teka, doom, doom kateka, doom kateka, teka, doom, doom kateka, doom kateka, teka, doom, doom kateka, doom kateka. Awesome. Let's do the second line of that. Doom, doom kateka, doom, doom, doom ka, ka, doom, doom kateka, doom, doom, doom ka, ka, doom, doom kateka, doom, doom, doom ka, ka, doom, doom. Good. Third line. Doom. Doom ka te ka doom ka te that's it just like the first line ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka doom doom ka te ka doom one more now let's go to the fourth line te ka te ka te ka doom 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 ka three more te ka te ka te ka doom 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 ka te ka te ka te ka doom 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 ka one more and back to the top one time each line doom doom ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka doom Doom ka te ka doom 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 ka ka doom doom ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka te ka te ka te ka one more time. Doom doom ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka doom doom ka te ka doom 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 ka ka doom doom ka te ka doom ka te ka te ka te ka te ka te ka doom 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 ka. Sweet, you can play that all day long, right? And not you could just do that a bunch and bunch, and you'll start to feel it. Break, the break number one, let's jump to that. It's each line two times, and this one has the swing like in the B section. We're not gonna do the B section today. It goes like this, just the rhythm without thinking of which hand is doing what. In triplets, one ta ta, two ta ta, three ta ta, goes dun ta 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 dun dun. Dun ta 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 dun dun. Dun ta 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 dun. In threes, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that last one is the hardest beat because you don't play the next downbeat. If you just isolate the third beat, it's and the fourth beat. One two three, 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 one two three. Right? And the whole thing together is doom te ka te ka doom doom, doom te ka te ka doom doom, doom te ka te ka doom doom, doom te ka te ka doom doom. Doom, te ka te ka doom, doom. Doom, te ka te ka doom. One more. The second line goes, doom, te ka te ka pa. Let's end right there. Doom, te ka te ka pa. And 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 dun, da 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 da. And then there's a response. Da 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 dun, da 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 da. The hardest thing about this is thinking of the big four, right? Which is one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Because you really are doing this. If you look at your lead hand, you're doing this. You're going one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then every other one you play the doom teka teka pa teka teka doom teka teka pa teka teka doom. So keep playing that. That's a lot easier to figure out, isn't it? One, two, three, four, and five and six. But to put the swing of the triplet in there is doom teka teka pa teka teka one two three. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. Four, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. 
And let's go to the third one now. Yeah. Which one? You know, be the, one of the easiest ways to figure this piece, is, this piece out, let's groove on number four, the fourth line of the break, for a second, because it's just three even groups, uh, four even groups of three. So we're going one, two, three, 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 right? And we're now we're going to use your lead hand on one and your non-lead hand on two. Right, left, left, 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 or you would do it with your left. Left, right, right, 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 and it would go. Do if you just play it all on on the edge of your drum. Teka ka, teka ka, teka ka. Let me slow it down. Teka ka, teka ka, teka. It's all threes. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. One, two, three. One. Two. And on the one, put a doom. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two. Put a doom on three also. One, two, three, four. Doom, ka, ka, de, ka, ka, doom, ka, ka, de, ka. A little slower we'll go. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Doom, ka, ka, de, ka, ka. Now on the last beat, you can change the tech to a pa. Ka, ka, de, ka, ka, doom, ka, ka, pa. One, two, three, four. One more. One more. And if I go to the top of this break, it goes like this. Doom, teka, teka, doom, doom, doom. Teka teka, just do that with me two more times. Doom, teka teka, doom, doom. Doom, teka, good. Let's go to second line. Doom, teka teka, pa. Teka teka, doom, teka teka, pa. Teka teka, doom, teka teka, pa. Teka teka, doom. Let's go back to the fourth line, skipping the third line. Doom ka ka te ka ka doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka te ka ka doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka te ka ka doom ka ka pa ka 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 te ka ka doom ka ka pa ka ka te ka ka doom ka ka pa ka ka doom ka ka te ka ka doom. One more, and you can stop. Keep that feel going. Really, you're shifting into a whole different part of yourself than we did, like for that whole time we were playing the other two pieces, right? Which was in duple. And if you just stick to that very, very first line, if you get the main groove, it's doom, doom, katek, doom, katek, katek, doom, doom, katek, doom, katek. Of course, if you play all the triplets, that between the first two dooms would be a ka, katek, doom. So it would just sound like this. Doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, kateka, doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, kateka, doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, kateka, doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, kateka. Then the other thing would be to loop the third and fourth beat of the first line, just to get the, and really slow at first, you just practice going back and forth. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just add a doom on one. One, two, three, four, five, six. The hardest thing is going to be getting the accent with a ka with your non-lead hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. So right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're lefty, it's left, right, 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 left, right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then the whole line is gonna be doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, teka, doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka, teka, doom, doom, kateka, doom, kateka. Good. I'm just gonna make the train go a little bit faster. And we're gonna end by playing. From one to eight. 
and then break one one time, and then we'll end it. All right? All of the A section, one through eight, one time each line, and then when you get to the break, who times each line? The break one is on the next page. Here we go, A section, one, two, ready, and. Doom, doom, ka, tick, ka, doom, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, doom, doom, ka, tick, ka, doom, 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 ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, tick, ka, doom, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, doom, 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 ka. Fifth, doom, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, ka, doom, doom, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, tick, ka, pa, ka, doom, doom, ka, tick, 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 ka, Doom, teka, teka, doom, doom, second line, doom, teka, teka, pa, teka, teka, doom. I'm going to do the third line, even though we didn't do it. Doom, teka, ka, pa, teka, ka, doom, teka, ka, pa. Then, doom, ka, ka, teka, ka, doom, ka, ka, pa, ka, ka, doom, ka, ka, teka, ka, ready, and stop. Woo, that was a lot to go through, I know, especially if it's one of your first times doing that. But it's good for the last 10 or 15 minutes sometimes to stretch our imaginations and our bodies into doing uh, different things. And like I said, you could actually go back and listen to them at a slower speed also. And the notation will always be there. And we always repeat rhythms over and over. So some of, the, some of these people have seen some of this, this rhythm, these rhythms for a while. Um, and we so much welcome all the new people. So, so, so much. And we're so thankful you came into our studio over here. Did you really have a good time in? There's people in here from 5 to 105, and uh, they have a really, really wonderful time. And it's always a blessing to be here, and it's a blessing to be here with all of you in these very, very interesting and challenging times as humans. So hopefully drumming could be something that you could get in touch with with yourself and perhaps help transcend what's happening, you know? And whatever little place you live in or large place you live in, live in it might feel like certain things are happening. So thanks for joining us in this wonderful world of drumming. And uh, this is something that we've been keeping up for a while now. We're not going to stop. And we made this available for everybody just to come in. We've been working at the, the, the camera and the mics over the last couple of months, not months, not knowing that all this was going to happen in the world. But we're blessed to, to have figured some of these technological things out. So we're all giving it to you today, but if you feel like donating anything on the online course page on our actualrhythm.org website, which you, I think you had to get through the online course page to get here, there's a little donation button. If you want to give in a buck or two, that's all good. If you want to give in more, that's even more better. But whatever you add, if you don't, don't sweat it one single bit. We're going to be drumming here each and every Wednesday. Thank you. Happy birthday, Giselle! Woo! All right, you get a special birthday groove for your birthday. Got, since it's your birthday, I got to stick it up here. I didn't get to play my whole hybrid set yet. Let's see. Let's see if this one will work in here. All right, here's our little birthday groove for Giselle. Thank you. 
Hope you're having fun in California. All right, good night, everybody. Thank you.